Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Matt Hester, and let's take a quick look at another great tool inside of Windows Server 2008 R2. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the System Health Report. Now, one of the great tools we've had on our Windows Server environments and platforms for years is the Resource and Performance Monitoring Tools that really allowed us to do a lot of great work. So if I bring up my Resource Monitor, and performance monitors, I've been able to look at this information fairly robustly across our different servers and our environment. So a resource monitor allows me to look at kind of what's here. If you've used performance monitor, and bring this up as well, um, you might have looked at these tools and went, holy cow, do I need, what tools do I need to use? What data, um, what counters, what do I need to add? And when I look at both performance monitor and resource monitor, these tools are a ton of science, but also to utilize them to effective, it's a bit of an art, right? You have to understand your server and kind of have an idea of what you want to do and work with the server. Well, one of the great tools that we've built into Windows Server 2008 R2, and it was also in Windows Vista, is the system health report that some of you may not see. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my uh, menu and say generate. System Health Report. Now what this is going to do, it's going to run for about a minute and I'm going to pause the recording during the running. It's going to help me analyze all the common kind of counters. It gives you kind of a road map of, hey, here's some basic things you need to look at for memory or for networking or for your CPU. And here's some just general diagnosis that I have. Here's some great counters that you look at and here's the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and run the report. And this will take about a minute to run. I'm going to close the windows that are hanging out back here. And I'm going to pause the recording as this is running, and when it's back, I'll come right back. Well, my system self health report is almost done running. Um, towards the end of it, it's going to generate a report here for me to look at. Once again, it's going to paint a great picture of my server and the overall health. And I've actually turned off some things on my server, so I can kind of show you what kind of advice it's going to give you as well. And I also have some devices that are currently not working. I did this, uh, set it up as well so you can see some uh, pretty error messages. So first thing, it gives you some diagnostics. It let me know that, hey, I have some devices that are disabled. It gives me some general information on how to actually work with it, how to manage those devices, how to see if I can set up and configure the system. It also comes up and says, hey, informational. Hey, Security Center has not recorded an antivirus product. So this tool doesn't just analyze your server. It's also going to give you some nice prescriptive advice of what, what's going on and where you can work with some things. We have some basic system checks here. Um, I like the Security Center tax. Even though I passed, um, and this one's kind of funny, it still says, you know what, I can't find an antivirus product. Now the reason you pass here is not all of the antivirus products that are on the market for the server sometimes register themselves with the security center. It's just trying to let you know that it's there and allow us to actually get information. But notice how it gave us a nice little cute little help flag here to find out that information. So we can work with this. We also have the ability of just general overall health, resource workload. The thing I like about this, if you have a, a system that has multiple network cards on it, you can say, hey, here's the busiest network card. And I only have one adapter uh, and a couple of virtual adapters on my server here, but it's telling me which one's the busiest, which ones I need to actually work with. And as I go through these different areas, you get a nice snapshot of what's going on of my different servers. So here's my process, and it gives me a lot of the common counters for processes. Here's what's happening. Here's what's going on. Here's your counters. Here's the different instances we need to look at. The nice thing about this is it helps take all the great information that we have in Performance Monitor and Resource Monitor and in a sense give us a nice detailed report summary of what's happening on our server when we ran this system health report. So once again, this is just another great tool inside of Windows Server 2008 R2 you can use to help out more about your servers. And once again, to get to the tool, if you go to your Start menu and just type in Generate, you'll get Generate System Health Report and you'll be able to analyze your servers running Server 2008 R2. With that, I want to say thank you and have a great day.